I know you might disagree, but what might be the better way to spend Christmas than solving the challenges that involve the snowman? If you know any other way to do it, please make sure to post in comments. But I am going to move forward and present you with a very interesting problem. You have three snowmans and the fourth snowman is missing. You need to select it from one of four following choices. Choices A, B, C and D. Take a close look to see if you can find the missing snowman. Did you find the missing snowman? Let's move forward to see if we can get to the correct solution together. If you watched enough videos on this channel, I hope you learned one trick. To find the answer, you need to look for patterns. And in this case, the pattern is the difference between the snowman. First snowman has two fingers with two solid color black buttons. Second snowman has two fingers as well, with the two buttons, but buttons now have a different color inside. Third snowman has three fingers with three solid color black buttons. Do you see the pattern? Which means if you see it, missing snowman should have three fingers with the three buttons and buttons in the fourth missing snowman should have a different color inside. Which means that the correct choice here is snowman in the choice A. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Here's an amazing question which tests your analytical skill, logical thinking skills, as well as spatial reasoning skills. You're presented with three circles. Each circle represents an object. The objects are library represented by the blue circle, books represented by the yellow circle, and racks represented by the gray circle. You need to select a visual relationship between the items and you have four different choices. Choices A, B, C and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. Ready or not, I am moving forward to get you to the final answer. And obviously this is just my version of the solution, so if you have a better answer, please make sure to post in comments. The way I see it is that books and recs are located inside the library. So yellow and gray circles should be inside the blue one. And books are also located on the racks, which means that the gray circle should be inside the yellow circle. So the correct choice here is choice D. Do you see it differently? Please make sure to post in comments. Here is the very interesting question, which seems hard, but in reality is extremely easy to solve. You are presented with the three circles and the fourth circle is missing. You need to determine the fourth circle out of four different choices. Choices A, B, C and D. And obviously you should not just randomly select one of the four choices, but to determine which item might be missing based on the particular pattern. Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can come up with the solution. Keep in mind that you can always pause this video if you need more time. And I am moving forward to share with you my version. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to share in comments. I think the correct choice here is choice B. The question is why? Let me explain. If we look closely at the yellow circles, we see that yellow circles have smaller shapes inside. If we follow closely the pattern, we see that blue triangles and blue circles do not change from shape to shape. The only thing that changes are the green items, small green circles. If you keep following closely, you can notice that number of small circles are the same at 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock positions. And if you continue looking at the pattern, you might notice that number of small circles increments by one in 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock positions from the 12 and 6 o'clock base. Let's look at the specific example. First circle has three green small circles in the 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock positions. And if we increment it by one, 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock positions have four green circles. Next one has four and five. The following has five and six. So the missing one must have six and seven. And the only item that meets this choice is choice B. It has six small green circles in 12 and 6 o'clock positions and seven small green circles 
in 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock positions. Would you agree with my solution? Do you have a better one? Please make sure to post in comments. And now I have a question for you to try and test your skills. You're presented with the sequence of diamonds and you need to find the next diamond in the sequence. Please select one of the four following choices. Choices A, B, C and D. Once you found the correct answer, please make sure to post it in comments. This would allow me to give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck. Here's an amazing question to determine your pattern recognition skills. You're presented with five boxes. Boxes one, two, three and five have smaller shapes inside. And you need to select box number four out of four different choices. Choices A, B, C and D. Take a close look to see if you can get to the correct solution. Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe pause this video to see if you can get to the correct answer. Ready or not, I am moving forward to reveal you the pattern and show you how to calculate the correct solution. As you might have guessed, the position of the small shapes inside the large box is not as important, but the presence of the shapes is very important. And there are three variables for the pattern that we see here. There are always two squares in the frame, there are always two circles in the frame, and there is always one triangle in the frame. So the correct answer here is choice D. If you have doubts, please go and review the original question to make sure that we've got the correct solution. Let's look at the question where you need to come up with the logical conclusion. Oxygen is a gas. This tank contains gas. Conclusion that was drawn based on these two statements is that this tank contains oxygen. You need to determine if this conclusion is correct and your choices are choice A true, choice B most likely true, choice C false and choice D cannot determine. Do you see the answer? Question is definitely worded very tricky, but the answer is very obvious. Let's look into details. Obviously, there are many different types of gases. For example, nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, carbon dioxide, and a lot of others. Oxygen is just one of many gases, which is clearly indicated in the statement one. And tank contains a gas, which could be one of many gases, which is shown in the statement too. Based on this, there is not enough information to determine what type of gas is stored in the tank. So the correct choice here is choice D, cannot determine. Did you come up with the same conclusion? Please share your thoughts in comments. Here's the question for you to test your skills. If you add all the numbers here you see on the picture inside the shapes and then divide the sum by two, what would be the result? Please choose one of four following choices. Choice A, 9. Choice B, 12. Choice C, 18. And choice D, 24. Can you calculate the result? Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can come up with the solution. And once ready, please make sure to post your answer in comments. This would allow me to give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck. I love this question because it seems very simple, but the answer is extremely surprising. You need to determine how many rectangles are present in the shape. And you have four different choices. Choice A, seven rectangles. Choice B, eight rectangles. Choice C, nine rectangles. And then choice D, 10 rectangles. Give yourself a little bit of time Maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the answer. And I'm going to move forward and share with you my solution. But as usual, in case you see a different answer, please make sure to correct me in comments. Hard to believe, but I counted nine rectangles here in this shape. Let me show them all to you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Do you see any other answer? Please make sure to post in comments. I would like to ask you to participate in our daily assessment test challenge. I post new question every day in the community tab of YouTube channel and give you an opportunity to answer it and try it. 
and I post answer in comments next day. So please make sure to check it out to test your knowledge. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Here's an amazing question which tests your analytical skills. You need to determine which item comes next. And you're presented with the series of five rectangles and the sixth rectangle is missing. You need to select one of four different choices. Choices A, B, C and D. Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can come up with the answer. Make sure to give yourself enough time, if necessary pause this video to see if you can get to the correct solution. Ready or not, I am moving forward to reveal you the final answer. And obviously the final answer is just the result of my analysis. If you have a better way of solving it, please make sure to post in comments. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you need to know that you need to always look for patterns. And there are three different patterns here in this problem. Let's look at all three. The first pattern is that squares filled with color move diagonally from the top left corner to the middle and then to the bottom right corner. Then they return back. The second pattern is that unshaded transparent square appears in the middle of every third shape in the sequence. And then the third pattern is that triangle appears in the middle right section with every alternative shape. This is why the correct choice here is the rectangle with the black square as well as unshaded transparent square inside the middle but without the triangle. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Let's look at the interesting question where you need to form the word and you need to use all the letters and only use each letter once. You're presented with nine letters. Those nine letters are S, Y, R, C, I, E, O, V, D. And you need to form the word using all the letters. Do you see the solution? Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe 10 to 20 seconds. This is typically as much time as you get in a real test. Ready or not, I am going to reveal you my version of the solution. But my version may not be the only one. So if you see other possible options, please make sure to share them in comments. The word you can form is discovery. Let me spell it for you. D I S C O V E R Y. And the definition of discovery is the act of finding out or learning about something for the first time. Here's the sample sentence where word discovery is used. Scientists consider detection of gravitational waves the greatest discovery of the 21st century. Did you discover any other words? Make sure to post them in comments. And if you're getting ready for the test and looking for additional questions to practice, make sure to check the description of this video for links to additional resources. Can you tell us how many questions did you answer correctly? Please make sure to post in the comment section of this video to share with others. And now let's continue to get you ready for the test. Here's an amazing question where you need to form the word from the English dictionary using 10 letters. And the condition is that you need to use all the letters only once. The letters are L, E, P, M, O, C, Y, T, I, X. Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution. I'm gonna give you a quick hint. The word kind of reflects the fact that there are 10 letters in the word. Hopefully it was helpful, but ready or not, I am moving forward to reveal you the solution. As you might have guessed, the answer is the word complexity. Let me spell it for you. C-O-M-P-L-E-X-I-T-N-Y And complexity is a state of having many different components that are being challenging to understand or find answer to. Here's the sample usage of the word complexity. There are a lot of complexities surrounding this project. Not sure if it's helpful for you or not, but I try to solve these challenges by trying to mentally connect the letters looking at the original question. So for example here, we can connect the letters C-O-M-P-L-E-X-I-T-N-Y. Do you have a better way to solve it? 
please make sure to post your ideas to solve these types of questions in comments. Here's a tricky question which tests your knowledge of English words. You need to identify all the words that are synonyms to the word large. You're presented with 10 different words. Enormous, petite, insignificant, mammoth, minuscule, colossal, huge, powdered, gigantic, and dissolved. The tricky part here is that there could be between 1 and 10 answers. Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can process the question. Let's move forward and I'll share with you my version of the answer. But obviously, if you have better solutions, feel free to share in comments. I found five words that are similar in meaning to the word large. Let me share them all with you. The words enormous, mammoth, colossal, huge, and gigantic are similar in definitions to the word large. Enormous means very large in size. Mammoth means huge. Colossal means extremely large. As well as the word huge has a similar meaning of extremely large. And then finally, the word gigantic means item of a very large size. And finally, something you may or may not know. Practicing questions like this not just helps you increase your English dictionary, but also increases your IQ. Here's an interesting question for you to practice. You need to identify all the words with similar meaning. And you're presented with five different words. The words are leader, lender, leather, coach, and influencer. Do you see the answer? Keep in mind that there could be between two and five answers. So make sure to give yourself a little bit of time to process this question. And when you're ready, please make sure to post your answer in comments. Thanks for participating and good luck. Here's an interesting question from the recent test. You need to figure out the word from the five letters you see on the screen. The letters are H, A, B, E, and C. Do you see the word? Give yourself 10 to 15 seconds, maybe 20 seconds. You can pause this video to see if you can figure it out on your own. Make sure to use all the letters and make sure to use each of the letters once. Ready or not, I'm going to move forward and share with you my solution. But keep in mind that a lot of times multiple words can be formed. So if you see another word, please make sure to share it in comments. The solution I found is the word beach. Let me spell it for you. B E A C H. Do you see any other solutions? Make sure to post them in comments. And if you'd like to improve your ability to guess the words, you can play word games, read a lot, and practice crosswords and puzzles. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please give us a like and consider subscribing. Thanks for all your endorsement, support, and patronage. For additional helpful information, please make sure to check out links in the description. For detailed list of available resources, I encourage you to check out resources page on our website, howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. If you know someone who would benefit from this content, please consider sharing the link. Please leave the feedback, corrections, or suggestions in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.